evening. Good evening. If you have your Bibles, turn to Ephesians chapter 6. Ephesians chapter 6. As always, we hope you've come expecting something. Hope you've already prayed. But if not, we ask there's any prayers tonight. But Ephesians chapter 6. We're only going to read one verse. That's verse 10. Ephesians chapter 6, verse 10. The scripture says, Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. I would ask you if you would to bow your heads. Father, again, we uh, thank you for another beautiful day you've given. Father, we thank you once again. To to be in your house and yes. Lord once again take Doug out of the way let your yes. word go out the way it needs to go out yes. if there be a need if there be a burden we pray to be brought to you tonight Father again guide us with what needs said yes. and Lord we thank you we praise you and we ask these things in Christ's name and Amen 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 Finally my brother be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might Strength training with God. Strength training with God. Uh, if you go to any doctor, I don't care if they're eight years old or 80, Ray, they're going to say that there's benefit to strength training. Okay? Uh, when you're young, you need to develop strength. Okay? When you're older, you need to keep that strength. Right? And when you're in the middle, <laughs> you need to remember that you still need strength. That's right. That's right. Okay. Now, when I was younger, when I worked out, Bill, I could bench press 225 20 some times without stopping. Now, that's pretty impressive. Okay. It's not so impressive at 52 when I just work out with dumbbells and bands, Ray. <laughs> Why? Because I'm 52 and I got two herniated discs, okay? But there's still a need for strength training, okay? Yeah, right. Folks, for Christians, there is always a need for strength training. I don't care whether you're in the nursery. I don't care whether you're yeah. in the old people's class. That's right. You need to develop strength. Yes. You need to develop strength and you need to maintain that strength, yes. okay? Well, how do you maintain that strength? Stay in the way of the Lord. Stay in the way of the Lord. Uh, folks, we can't make this difficult, okay? That's right. That's right. This is really simple, Bill. Amen. That's right. uh, <laughs> Proverbs 10, 29, I believe. It says, uh, the way of the Lord is strength to the upright. But destruction uh, comes to those who... Uh, Destruction comes to, to those who practice iniquity, okay? Listen, if you stay in the way of the Lord, then you're going to stay strong. But if you don't, you're going to become weak. Yes, that's right. Okay? Yes. Uh, if you quit training, you're going to become weak. Right. Okay? Now, whether that's with weights, whether that's with running, uh, folks, the people that run in that Boston Marathon, Bill, they don't just show up the day of the race and say, okay, I'm going to run. That's right. That's 26 miles, yes. okay? Folks, uh, you don't just start training right away and expect to be able to run the race, okay? And here's the problem, and we say this before, and it may make some of you mad, and that's okay, you'll get over it. <laughs> Folks, you've got to get over this revival salvation. Now, amen or ouch. That's right, that's right. There are those that they come, Ray, they get excited for a week, maybe two weeks, maybe a month, and then you know what? It's right back to normal. You need to train all year long. Amen. You need to maintain that strength all year long. Amen. But there are those that they just come, they, they want that quick fix. And for those who, who uh, use steroids, who use uh, performance-enhancing drugs, Joe, there's the problem. Yeah, you get that quick fix, and then you know what happens? There's a big crash. There's a big crash. Because you didn't maintain. You didn't take your time to do it right. 
And folks, if you want to get strength with God, the first thing you got to acquire is patience. Yes, that's right. First thing you got to acquire is patience. Psalms 27, 14. It says, wait on the Lord. Yes. Be of good courage and he yes. shall strengthen thine heart. Wait on the Lord. Right. Okay? Right. Folks, it takes patience to build strength. Mm -hmm. Okay? And there are points where... It, you can work out and see a, amazing gains, Bill, and Lucas has seen this, no doubt, Luke. But there will come a point where he's going to hit a plateau. Right. And he may go a month or two months, and he doesn't get any stronger. He can't press any more weight than what he did before. You can't run any faster time than you did before. But that's why you got to be patient. And, folks, it's the same thing with Christians. you got to be patient. We expect God to answer our prayers like that. That's true. We expect God to grant our requests yeah, like that. That's true. What if he took the same attitude with you that you take with him? What if he said, well, when I get around to it, <laughs> when they're in something more important. Yeah. Yeah. Bless him, Lord. We must be hitting the mark, Bill. It's quiet. <laughs> Bless him. Bless him. Folks, listen, you want to get strong, you got to get some patience. Yes. Amen. you got to get some patience. Uh, Isaiah 40, 31, I believe, says, They that wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. Right. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not grow weary. They shall walk and not faint. Folks, you got to be patient with God. If for no other reason, then he's patient with you. Yes, yes, he is. If he's patient with you, don't you think you ought to extend the same courtesy? Yes, that's right. But strength training with God. Strength training with God. Folks, patience is what builds strength. You know what else builds strength? You are stronger together. Yes. You're stronger together. That's right. Okay? Uh, Ecclesiastes 4. He says, two are better than one. For if they fall, the one shall lift his fellow up. But woe unto him that is alone when he falleth, for he hath no one to lift him right, up. Right. Folks, listen, that's why you come to church. Mm -hmm. To gather strength, Harley. Yes. To gather strength from each other. Now, can you sit at home and read your Bible? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Can you sit at home and pray? Yeah. Mm -hmm. But you can't hear the testimonies. That's right. That's right. You couldn't have heard this wonderful music and singing tonight. Mm -hmm. You couldn't have seen all these children that are in here tonight. Yes, praise the Lord. You couldn't have seen all these people that are a little older than children tonight. That's right, praise the Lord. But folks, you're stronger together. Amen. He goes on then and says a, a threefold cord is not easily broken. You ever go and you see at the docks the ropes that they have for the ships? Folks, those are several ropes yes. that are wound together, right? That's right. And, and why? Because it's stronger that yes. way. It's stronger that way. Folks, you are stronger when you're together with other Christians. Right. When you go out on your own, guess what? You're going to get weak. You're going to get weak. You need encouragement. You need to lift it up. You need to lift other people yes. up. That's right. You say, well, it's no big deal if I'm not there. Folks, it may be your testimony yes. that lifted somebody up. That's right. It may be your smile that lifted yeah. somebody up. Amen. It may be you that need to come to the altar that night mm -hmm. to remind everybody else that it's still open. Yeah. <laughs> Amen. 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 But folks, you can't do that at the house. Right. right. You can't do that at the house. But you're stronger when you're together. There used to be a tire commercial. I forget Goodyear. I don't know which one it was, yeah. but. For some reason, it's ringing in my head, Bill. 721. 721. Seven, that's right. Around two, wrapped right. by one. That's right. Folks, that's the way Christians yeah. are. That's what the church is. Yeah. It, it's a group bounded together, Sandy. Mm -hmm. And we're stronger when we're together. Yes, amen. Listen, if I didn't need you all, I would have just put a sign on the door, Mary, that said, listen, don't bother. Mm -hmm. Now, none of you texted me or called me and said, listen, Doug, I'm all right. Don't bother tonight showing up. Folks, you're stronger together. Yes, amen. You're stronger together when you're with Christ, okay? 
Brethren, be strong in the Lord and the power of his might. Yes. Okay, here's the here's the thing. His might. Yes. You don't get the strength from Doug. You don't get strength from mommy or daddy or grandma or grandpa. Okay. Now, folks, I get it. Okay. You got fond memories. I got fond memories. Yeah. Right. There are people that you grew up with in church. But, folks, your strength comes from God. Amen. Amen. If you don't realize that, then there's your first clue to why you're maybe a little weak. Mm -hmm. Our strength comes from him Amen. and his might. Yes. If you want to do it, you, you can do a strength test. When we was in high school, Bill, every so often they would test us and see how much we could lift in this or that or whatever to see where we was. Folks, you can do the same thing as a Christian, okay? Mm -hmm. You can do the same thing as a Christian. Uh, Proverbs 24.10, If thou faint in the day of adversity, then thy strength is small. Mm -hmm. Okay? Now, folks, listen to what that says. If thou faint in the day of adversity, thy strength is small. Well, what does that mean, Doug? How little does it take to knock you out of church? True. How little does it True. take to knock you out of the way? Mm -hmm. And Sandy, it's sad. There are those that they have let so little True. things just completely take them out of church. True. Yeah. That's okay. Right. Well, yeah. somebody said this about me. Yeah. Somebody yeah. said that about me. Yeah. I didn't like the way they did this. I didn't like the way they did that. Mm -hmm. Listen, folks, that's not the way to solve it. Listen, you can say whatever you want about Doug. Bill, our back is so full of knife holes that it don't matter anymore. Okay, we're toughened up that it don't matter. But if you got a complaint, don't post it on Facebook. Don't post it on Twitter. Come to the altar. You'll find that you'll be a lot stronger that way. You'll find that you'll get a lot stronger that way. But folks, if your strength is small in the day of adversity, then that should be a clue. Hey, God, I need help. I'm weak. I'm not where I should be. But strength training with God, folks, we need to get stronger yes. as we go. Amen. We need to get stronger as we go. And we've said this. Listen, it's great if you can sing Jesus Loves Me. Listen, Ray at four, I could sing Jesus Loves Me. Mm -hmm. I was as good as you all, okay? <laughs> Bless him. Bless him. I can still sing, and I ain't as good as you all now, okay? Bless but him. here's the thing. Why don't you know something other than Jesus Loves Me at yeah. 32, at 42, right. at 52? That's right. Amen. Listen, you can tell me, John 3, 16. Yeah. Harley, I can find most of the kids downstairs. Mm -hmm. 10 and under that can tell me what John 3.16 says. Yeah. Look how big the book is, folks. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> At some point, you got to get past that. That's right. Amen. You got to grow a little bit. Amen. Uh, 2 Peter 3.18, I believe it says. But grow in grace and in the knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. Yeah. Folks, this is a continual growth. Yes, it is. This is a continual. Folks, you never get to the point, you know, where you can say, I I'm done. That's right. I'm done. That's okay. right. Whether you're as young as these girls yeah. or as old as their great grandma, I guess, Margaret. Mm -hmm. yeah. Listen, I have no doubt that Margaret still flips that Bible open yes, every day. That's right. right. No doubt too. That's right. At no 95 doubt. or right. somewhere around there. No doubt. Folks, there are people at 25, 35, yeah. 45, mm -hmm. they don't open this except on Sunday, Glenna. Yeah. And they wonder why they're weak. Yeah. You gotta put some effort in. You got to be continually growing. Well, how do I do that? First Timothy four thirteen. Paul writing to Timothy said, "Till I come, give attendance to reading, yeah. to exhortation, right. to doctrine." Yes. What does that mean? To reading, yeah. folks. How often do you open this? Right, right. How often do you study God's word? Mm -hmm. To exhortation, again. How often are you in church? Yeah. And we'll, we'll quote Hebrews 10, 25, not forsaking the assembling of ourselves right. together as the manner of some is, yes. but rather so much the more as ye see the day approaching. Right. 
Hardly, if people can't see that time is running short, there, there's nothing else that I can, can tell them about. Right. right. Folks, every day you are that much closer to eternity. That's right. Whether God takes you out of this world right. or whether he comes for his church, you are that much closer to eternity. That's right. To exhortation. Folks, again, right. where are you lifted up? Yeah. Yeah. With others? That's right. Where do you... Listen, you all don't come gather at my house for church, do you? I don't go travel to your all's house. Maybe I'll start making house calls, Bill. <laughs> but it's convenient, Harley, for us to come out here. We have a place that we can gather. Amen. Amen. And that we can exhort one another. Yes, yes. So he says, till I come, give attendance to reading, to exhortation, to doctrine. Now, I know doctrine's one of those words that people get a little funny about. Bless more. Paul didn't get funny about it. He said, listen, Timothy, you need sound doctrine. You know what sound doctrine is? Let me simplify it for you. Is my life reflecting Christ? Do the way I live show people that I'm a Christian? Right, right. That's doctrine, pure and simple. Amen. Uh, 1 John, what is it, 2, 6? If a man say he abideth in him, yeah. he ought himself also so to walk, even as he walked. Mm -hmm. Folks, that, that is doctrine, mm -hmm. okay? And that is what helps get you stronger. That's why he told Timothy, listen, till I come, this will get, get you stronger. Folks, till Christ comes, if you follow those three things, it'll make you stronger. Yeah. Sure. It'll make you stronger. But you got to do that. You got to do that, okay? <laughs> There are people that think they're strong. Okay? There are people that think they're strong. They're deceiving themselves. Okay? Not because Doug said it, okay, but because this says it. Yeah, right. Listen, don't deceive yourself. Folks, when you look in the mirror, again, we said this last week, Bill, you all may think I look like Tom Selleck, but the mirror says <laughs> he don't look like Tom Selleck. Bless him, Lord. Folks, when you look in this, you may think it says one thing, yeah. but it's going to show you this is how you really look. Yeah, right. This is how you really are. This is how strong yeah. you really are. Yeah. And you know when you're strong, when you realize that you're really not? Yeah, that's right. When you realize that you're really not? 2 Corinthians 12, I believe, said that Paul, he said that he had a thorn in the flesh. Uh, a messenger of Satan to, to buffet him, lest he be exalted above measure. And he said, I prayed to the Lord three times mm -hmm. for him to remove this. Yeah. Okay? And it doesn't say what his thorn is. That's right. Okay? That's right. And that's good. You know why? Because if it said what it was, Bill, then we could say, well, that was just for Paul. Yeah, right. What am I supposed to do? <laughs> Folks, you all got a thorn. That's right. Listen, Doug's got a thorn. Yeah, okay? Bless him more. And there's times that we've said, Lord, can you take this away? And you know what the answer was? No. Mm -hmm. Just like Paul, listen, there's a reason I put it there. Mm -hmm. Bless him all. Because my grace is sufficient for thee. Amen. Folks, listen. If God's grace isn't sufficient for you, mm -hmm. there's no point in praying. Mm -hmm. There's no point in believing. He says, my grace is sufficient. Right. You think that you got to have this and that to, to be perfect? I don't need you to be perfect. Yeah. I need you to be a servant. Right. Folks, Peter wasn't perfect. No. 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 David wasn't perfect. That's right. <clears throat> Moses wasn't perfect. That's Listen, right. we can go through the whole Bible yes. if you want. Yeah. But folks, uh, we're, we're just saying this, okay? Because if I said, well, mom or daddy wasn't perfect, or grandma or grandpa or uncle or whoever, okay, then you all might get angry. But when I say the Bible, it's kind of hard for you to argue back right. at, right? That's right. Okay. But folks, listen. He says, my grace is sufficient for thee. For my strength is made perfect in weakness. Yeah. Why? Because when you get to the point that I don't need God, yeah. mm -hmm. then guess yeah. what? He can't use you. Mm -hmm. Right, right. Bless him if you get to the point that, well, God, I don't need your help. <laughs> I've got this on my own. Yeah. Folks, that's when you, you realize, huh? Yes. You don't got this figured out. That's right. But when you realize that you're weak, mm -hmm. again, you think about the prayer that Solomon prayed. Mm -hmm. 
God said, listen, tell me what you want. I'll give you whatever you want. I said, Lord, I'm just a child. That's what he said. That's right. And you put me in charge of this great nation. Yeah. You've been so good to my father. Mm -hmm. Just give me an understanding heart that I can discern between yeah. good and bad. Folks, Solomon knew how weak he was. Right. And God made him strong. Yes. And then here's the sad part, Bill. Later on, it completely flipped. Yes, it's true. Oh, Lord, I, I've got this all covered now. I don't need you. Yeah. Surprise. Yeah. It happened. Folks, listen. I don't care whether you're 10. I don't care whether you're 110. You need him. Yes, amen. You need, and when you realize how weak you are, then that's when he can use you. That's right. Because that's when his strength comes out. Folks, our strength, and again, here's why, okay? Because if people are looking at your strength, then what happens when you stop? Yeah. That's right. What happens when you stop? See, that's the thing. When you look at Christ, that's all on Bill. He kept on walking up the hill. He yes. didn't stop. That's right. When you look at the saints in the Bible, they didn't stop. Right. That's right. If you look at Doug, you're probably going to be disappointed, Sandy. If you look at whoever else in here, you're probably going to be disappointed. But when you look at God's examples, that's where you draw strength from. Yes. That's where you draw strength from. Listen, uh, there, there were guys that I played football with that I lifted year-round, Bill. And I know you trained year-round, you and Danny, when you was running. Folks, if you don't do that, when you get to the point that you think you're just going to hop in the battle mm -hmm. and it's going to work out all right, mm -hmm. you're going to be disappointed. That's right. You're going to be disappointed. Right. you got to get some strength built up for the yes. battle. That's right. And even then, you still may end up flat on your back. Yeah. But here's the thing. God will pick you up. That's right. God will pick you up. But when people get weak, they go back to the gym. Mm -hmm. They go back to training. Mm -hmm. Folks, when you get weak, where should you go? Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Right here? Yes, that's right. Right Bless here? Him. Bless him, Lord. Hebrews 4.18. Therefore, let us come boldly unto the throne of grace, yes. that we may obtain mercy right. and find grace to help in time of need. Amen. Bob, you know why people stay weak? Because they stay in the sea. Mm -hmm. Now, amen or out. Amen. Listen, folks, if you're worried about why somebody's thinking about why you're coming to the altar, mm -hmm. you've done defeated the purpose. Yeah, right, right. Folks, this is made for Christians. Right. Amen. That's right. This is made for Christians. Yes. You know why? Because if you're lost and you take that first step, Brother, you're already here. We're just yes. going through the formalities after right. you come up here. Yes. This is for Christians. Mm -hmm. That's right. This is where Christians find strength. Amen. And that's why there are so many weak Christians now because they're afraid to come to the altar. Right, right. Folks, strength training with God. Mm -hmm. there, uh, there, there's a piece of equipment. It's called a preacher curl bench. Okay. Dustin probably knows what I'm talking about. Okay. It's one of these benches that's inverted, right? And it's really hard. You do these curls like that. But boy, it builds good beach muscles. <laughs> it builds good beach muscles. But beach muscles don't do much good when you're playing ball. Beach, beach muscles don't do much good when you're wrestling or, or whatever. But folks, that's what you all need to start doing, some preacher curls. What do you mean that? Yeah, that's right. I mean, you need to start picking this up every day. Yeah. That's I mean, right. you need to start reading it. Yeah. I mean, you need to start studying it. That's what I mean by preacher yeah. curls. When you do that, you know what? You're going to see a difference. When you hit your knees, you're going to see a difference. Yes. When you come to God's house, you're going to see a difference. Amen. Folks, strength training with God. Are, are you training with God today? Or what, what's your strength level? Listen, I can't tell you. Right. Only you and God know that. But I can tell you this. If it ain't where it ought to be, you can get it fixed Amen. tonight. That's right. You can get Amen. back on the road to training tonight. Yes. So, Bill, I'm going to ask you all, you and Ray and Danny and 
Jacob to come back up and uh, to, to get us a song. Folks, we're not even going to make you sing tonight, okay? You can just sit and enjoy again. But if you have a need as they come and sing, I would beg you tonight, come. Come. Get some strength, okay? If you're weak, renew that strength so as they get a number, if everybody stand. as they get one more song uh, if you have a need folks if you just need some strength tonight we'd ask you to come
when I was born again. The Lord applied His precious blood and cleansed me from all sin. He left us far and sad as Some minds free. Again, appreciate everybody coming out. Yes. Uh, once again, want to wish all you mothers happy Mother's yes. Day. Yes. Uh, announcements Wednesday night be prayer meeting, children's church and youth groups. So remember that. Uh, again, appreciate Bill and them singing. Uh, it won't be the last time. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we, we'll have you back if nobody else will. We'll make you work for a couple times a year. Work well so today. We, we might even make him let Jacob sing one of these days. So. <laughs> Which he can sing. Some of you know that. Some of you yes, don't. But, but, that's right. uh, folks, that's that's a church family. Look, yes. you, you got father and son on this side and brothers on this side. Right. And all kinds of brothers and sisters yeah. out yeah. here. Folks, I why wouldn't you come to church? Yeah. Harley, I, I don't understand why people don't want to come to church, folks. That's where you get strength. That is where you get strength. All right. Uh, again, appreciate everybody being out. Uh, Brother Mike, would you dismiss us if you would? Yes. Yeah. And everybody, we're going to try to do the parking lot out here on Tuesday, recode it and stuff. So Wednesday, we'll probably have it blocked off so you can park along through that yet. And if there's any volunteer, you got a time approximately? I say nine. Maybe nine o'clock. Yeah. We can't put it down too early. It's going to be cool. It's going to be cool. So if you're tired of watching Ren 1010, come grab us a week, okay? <laughs>